Today, I'll be giving a tutorial on the new PAX S920 Mobile Option Credit Card Terminal. This terminal can be used over Wi-Fi or cellular data using AT&T or Verizon SIM cards. The PAX S920 can be used as a retail or restaurant terminal. In this video, I'll be covering its capabilities as a restaurant terminal. I'll start by going over how to process a sale. So to complete a sale while using the S920 as a restaurant terminal, you will first select Credit on the touchscreen menu, then select Sale. You will be asked to enter the sale amount using the keypad. Then, press the green button. It will initialize the payment, then ask you to insert, tap, or swipe. After inserting, tapping, or swiping, the sale will be completed. The S920 will then print your receipt. As you can see, at the bottom of your receipt, there is a space to add your tip. You can have preset tips, as well as a space for a custom tip. For this tutorial, I will be doing a penny tip on top of the one cent initial sale. To do a tip adjust, press the function key on the bottom left hand corner of the terminal's keypad. Then tap the down arrow on the touch screen twice to scroll down and tap tip menu. There are multiple methods to do a tip adjust. You can scroll through untipped transactions by server, card type, card number, invoice, or by transaction number. I will be using the transaction number method. Tap Buy Transaction Number on the touchscreen. Enter the transaction number, which can be found on the receipt, and press the green Enter button. Verify that the information presented on the terminal matches up with the receipt. Then press Enter, and enter the tip amount to be added. Press Enter again, confirm the tip amount is correct, and then hit Enter. The S920 will show the new total on screen. Press Enter one final time, and you have completed a tip adjust. You can now enter a new transaction that needs to be tip adjusted, or if you are done, simply press the red X button three times to return to the main menu. Now I'll go over how to process a refund. Start by selecting Credit on the touchscreen, then select the Return option. Enter the amount to be refunded and press the green Enter button. You will be prompted to swipe, tap, or insert. Once you have done this, the terminal will process the return and the payment will have been refunded. I'll now show you how to void a sale. But remember, if you want to do a void, it can only be done during the same day before the terminal has batched out. So once again, you're going to select Credit from the home screen, then select V Sale, which stands for Void Sale. You will have to enter the transaction number, which can be found on the credit card receipt. Enter the transaction number using the keypad and it will find the sale in question. Double check that the information matches and press the green enter key and the void will be processed. To dive into reporting, once again start by pressing the function key on the bottom left hand corner of the keypad. Then tap the report option on the touchscreen. Then you are required to enter the password. The default password is today's date, regardless of the day. This will follow the two-digit month, two-digit day, four-digit year format. Once you've entered the password, press the green Enter button, and the S920 will print your report, including all the transactions from today's batch. When it comes to batching out your terminal for the day, you may be on auto-batch, which means your terminal will batch out automatically at the same time every night. However, if you would like to manually batch out, Start by pressing the Function button on the bottom left-hand corner of the terminal's keypad. Tap the Batch option on the touchscreen, then tap Batch Close, and the S920 will print your batch receipt. To reprint a receipt, select the Function button on the bottom left-hand side of the keypad. Tap the down arrow on the touchscreen once, and then select Reprint. Once you have done that, you have the option to reprint the last customer receipt or any receipt. If you select any receipt, you will be asked to input the transaction number. Do this and press the green Enter button. You will then be able to decide if you would like the customer or merchant copy to be reprinted by tapping on the touch screen. Once you choose, the desired receipt will be reprinted. Once this is done, click the red X until you return to the main screen. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you would like more information on point-of-sale hardware or to work with our POS specialists to find the right solution for your business, please call at 1-800-518-5020 or email sales at mpipos.com. Thank you for watching.